Hello boat fans, this is Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers and I'm here with you today just to give you a full tour of a Moody S31 so you can see what they're like, what equipment they come with and uh, what it might like to be on board. So uh, let's have a look shall we? So I'm going to just hop on board. So I'm standing uh, in the uh, the stern area at the moment if I, and if I just look down you can see that the after part of the transom is nice and open to allow you to just step through there nice and easy. But this step here just lifts up and that means that the back of the uh, the back of the cockpit or the transom is completely uh, closed which means you'll have that nice safe feeling when you're in here but let's step inside and uh, have a little look around shall we so let's look at the cockpit so really nice size we've got seating port on starboard for uh, perhaps th two to three people either side acknowledging we need to leave a little bit of room for the helm we've got tiller steering here so a nice long tiller bar and if we just drop down and sit on the uh, on the nice teak although the teak could do with being replaced on this boat i think we've got the throttle we've got stereo speaker we've got, we've got a cockpit table uh, mount we've got a safety harness mount we've got the bilge pump handle place and we've got another speaker there so lots of bits and pieces in this cockpit hope you can hear me over the airplane and if we lift this locker here we can see we've got a great big almost climbing locker here um, We've got room for fenders, for warps, for life rafts, for buckets, for hose pipes, and all that kind of stuff, which is really, really great and great. We also have another um, bilge pump uh, operating place there too. Absolutely fantastic. So the sun's come out. You can see how nice and shiny the boat looks. Isn't she lovely? She's a very, very good looking moody, this one. I like her a lot. And just turning around to the starboard side here, if we just lift this part of the seat up, we can see we've got a hatch down here. Now that will open to allow air down below, but when it's closed, it lets light down below. And below there we've got the after cabin so that's also an escape hatch for down there too and um, set into the after bulkhead here we can see we've got the engine tachometer we've got the engine start and stop there as well which is great nice and within reach of the helm now on this boat all the winches are self-tailing and what that means is uh, this is a self-tailing mechanism here and what that means is that one person can operate this winch in with ease and uh, if you would if you look at uh, our youtube channel you'll see videos about how that works and, and how you can do it yourself but it means that only one person is needed to operate that winch which is really really handy especially when you're short-handed or if you're solo and if i just move forwards we can see we've got uh, two self-tailing uh halyard winches there too as well so nice and easy to get the sails up and we've got the brakes here associated with each side and all the ropes running aft, which means that on this boat, it should be nice and easy to operate most of the sail functions without having to leave the cockpit. So it's nice and safe. And it means that uh, if you're solo or if you're shorthanded, it doesn't take more than you to operate it. And it also feels much safer and, and nice and easy. Um, we've got some navigation instruments fitted, nice new remain, uh, Ray Marine units fitted into the coach roof there, which is lovely. And the compass itself is nestling down here amongst all of these nice rope tidies designed to keep it all nice and tidy in the cockpit, which is lovely. So let's step out onto the side. So uh, we're here on the waist. I've got one foot on the waist, one foot on the combing here. If I'm walking forwards, um, Nice wide, nice wide deck here and we've got a nice grab rail along here so we can grab hold of that as we're walking forwards but I do have to say that the shrouds here do sort of stop you moving forward so it's a bit of a swing around those so I'll just do that as long as you're holding on it should be okay another slight swing around this shroud here too brings us to the forward end of the coach roof so nestling beneath here is the, the forward cabins under there and the saloons under here so both those hatches will lift and give you lots of air and light down there but which is wonderful because that's what you need and then coming up to the foredeck which is the, the, the operating area for uh, the anchor in the foresail we've got the the uh, the anchor locker under here which I won't open because it's, uh, it's beneath the warps here and we've got these two buttons here which are the foot buttons to operate the nice electric windlass there so that will raise and lower that nice and easy when you decide to go to anchor no having to pull it around which is wonderful and uh, just last we've got the furling mechanism there so the, the foresail is is a roll away furling type although the foresail has been taken away and placed down below out of the weather for the moment which is great very thoughtful so looking along the coach roof here looking very nice and very shiny we think she is a lovely looking boat i think you'll agree and if i walk up the coach roof which does feel really nice and solid and it should do because she's moody we come up to the uh the canvas works here so this part here which covers the joint between the sail cover and the uh the mast if you look in here we can see the mainsail 
nestling away, looking okay to me. This does seem in reasonable condition, and I think the sail cover seems in reasonable, reasonable condition too, although I would say it probably would benefit from a valet and a, um, a, a re-waterproofing, and maybe one or two uh, bits of stitching, but uh, not too bad at all. And then if we look down at the coach roof, we can see all these lines leading from the sails. They, they, they lead, they're leading aft, and that's what we mean by leading aft. They, they go aft towards a cockpit to allow us to operate those lines from the cockpit in safety and um, i'll just drop down to the port waist we can see the two windows here are away for the moment they've been taken away for servicing and resealing ready for the new owner which is really good news for them and then finally we arrive back at the cockpit and as i said feels nice and open but we've got these nice reasonably deep bulkheads here around both sides so when you're sitting in there you're going to be feeling quite snug i think but let's have the less of the upper deck let's go down below so we've got a couple of steps up to the companionway and then we go down the companionway to the interior one two three four five six steps let's take a look and if we just turn aft and look at the companionway it's quite steep but uh, nice and easy to get down you've got a grab rail there to to help you as you come down now here is the access to the forward part of the engine. Not that easy to get to underway because there are four wing nuts, one, two, three, four, that need to be undone to pop the cover this way. So uh, um, I might think about making an, an easier arrangement there, but there is quite easy access to the after engine, after end of the engine as well, which I'll show you very shortly. So if you turn starboard, the first thing you come to is this door. So handy for the cockpit if, uh, if the people on watch need to get into in a hurry. We've got a nice head there, so it's a manually pumped out head on the right hand side in the port aft corner of the, the uh, um, compartment. On the starboard forward area we've got the, the sink with a nice shower attachment as well, stowage above and stowage below. And a really well thought out hanging locker here, so or wet locker there. So this is where you'd be hanging all your wet life life jackets, boots, fowlies, etc. You've got hooks up there and the bars to hang them behind and then that all just drips away and gets taken away through the bills there, which is a really nice idea. And it all looks very nice and easy to clean. And also we've got two windows down here, which open up, which obviously have a beneficial effect in the heads compartment, but uh, means you've got light and air in there too. So looking along the starboard side, if I just step back, as you can see, all looking rather nice. We've got the navigation station to the right, the sofa to the left. So let's have a look at the navigation station first. Now it's aft facing, some like that, some don't, some aren't really bothered. But basically you'll be sitting yourself here, doing your navigation on there if you're using uh, paper charts. We've got a bit of stowage beneath here. Uh, we've got a nice Raymarine unit here. We've got the electrics panel on the outboard side with a VHF radio underneath. And then if you look forward, let's start at the top. As you can see, we've got headlining here, but it's not really headlining, it's actually moulding as well. So to clean that, that's just a bit of a wipe with some mild detergent, me thinks. So none of this saggy headlining thing that we see in so many boats. We've got grab rails that run through the saloon port and starboard, so there's always something to hang on to down here if you're moving forwards. And we've got nice big saloon windows with curtains as well. And uh, I, I think they've probably been replaced at some point because they're looking really, really good. Now below that, we've got the, the side of the boat, which is all wooden line and looks great. Um, we've got a nice big sofa there with nice upholstery. We don't have stowage behind the back of the seating here, but uh, behind the back of the back of the seating, we've got a nice deep, um, really deeply fiddled shelf unit here to put all your bits and pieces that you really don't want rolling around. And underneath the berth here, we've got uh, two port and starboard, two great big water tanks there. So that's where they sit. Midships, uh, or in the middle of the uh, this cabin, under this, this cover, we've got the nice big saloon table here, as you can see, just covered up to keep it nice. We've got uh, two leaves that fold up, so that should give you a nice dining area for four to six people, I think. The wooden floor looks good, really like it. And if I just lift up the uh, this section of the deck here, if I can do it one-handed, and uh, rest my knee on it, let's have a look at the all-important build. Well, there we go, actually pretty good. Um, at Boatshed we do like nice clean bilges because it's safe, it smells good and you can get access to those things down there that are, to, that are really important. And in this case we've got the electric bilge pump and the manual bilge pump strainer so we can get to those if we need to. We can also see the keel bolts down there so the, the nice whiter colour. So at some point they've probably been, uh, they've probably been cleaned up and re-preserved just to extend their lives I think. But uh, all looking good and well done owners. If only all bilges were so clean. So there we go, nice and easy, really good bilge access. We can get through there and we can get through there too. So always really, really useful when, when you can do that. Now moving forward, we've got the double V berth in the forward cabin. All looks nice, doesn't it? So 
we've got the, the wooden lined hull. We've got a shelf outboard as well for your knickknacks. And we've got a cupboard outboard port and starboard as well. But upholstery looks nice. So we have a double here, uh, made so by the fact we've got the infill here. This does lift out of the way. And that means you've got room to stand in there and get changed if you want to in privacy, no problem. We've got the hatch from the foredeck down. So if you want light and you want uh, air to come down you here, you can uh, facilitate that, no problems. And at the moment stored in here, we've got the cockpit cushions, which look nice and tailored. And that will make a big difference on those uh, those long passages. Keeps those bums nice and warm. Also stored down here, we've got the foresail. So that's just kept out of the wind, out of the rain, away from the salt and the UV degradation. So that's always nice. And if I just reverse my way along to look at the port side of the saloon, you can see again, we've got a nice, long, wide berth there, a stroke sofa. Bit of storage outboard as per the starboard side and the water tank underneath. So let's turn and look towards a galley. So we've got a row of cupboards up there. We've got a, an L-shaped galley, quite a conventional layout. So where uh, the person washing up here or washing all the people's pots and pans who are sitting there can watch them having a, a nice time while they're doing all the, all the donkey work. But we have a nice uh, single sink. We've got a bin locker beneath there. We've got uh, uh, crockery uh, sorry cutlery locker there access to the underneath there too bit of work surface we've got a working cool box under here too nice sized and underneath this cover which does uh, go back obviously we've got the the twin burner cooker standard yacht kind of cooker uh, featuring the twin burners and the grill and the oven there as well so we're uh, all good for what it's supposed to do uh, very nice area but let's finish off the tour by going into the aft cabin a little bit darker in here if i just open those curtains a bit that might help so we've got an opening window in here we've got uh, a hanging locker here with uh, with room to hang your clothes in and also some shelves too we've got a, a small sort of shelf unit there which might be good for shoes etc nice and easy to get in and there's a nice seat there to sit on while you get changed, etc. Obviously, the uh, the cockpit locker and the cockpit sole does kind of lower the headroom in here. So it's a bit of a, a stoop to get through. So basically, you're going to end up sitting on the seat here and then swinging yourself through past all this lot here. But once you're in, if you just look around the corner, loads of lovely space. This is a really great big berth and it is nice and light down that, that end, certainly because you've got the uh, the hatch from the cockpit coming down, letting light and air in if it's open. Beneath it, you've got access to batteries, et cetera, et cetera. And I did mention the slightly easier access to the engine down here. So basically it's just a case of opening this cover and you can see the engine a little bit easier without having to disturb the, the, uh, the companion way down. So uh, that's probably where I would do my checks. So this has been Tim from Boat Shed Yacht Brokers taking you for a look around the interior and exterior of this uh, this Moody S31. I hope this has formed some kind of decent review for you. You may fancy one of those these boats in the future. Although, otherwise, if you just fancy uh, popping along for a, a nice look around a nice boat with, with Tim, I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining me, and we hope to see you soon. Take care.